So these things are only fair if dive back into the history of smoking. So in the early 1900s, actually a lot of campaigns or advertisements were done to promote cigarettes as a healthy alternative for traditional medicine. Not actually kind of traditional medicine, uh. more of like med something that is beneficial to, to your health. Ada satu iklan ni, tunjuk yang if you smoke, you can actually live 100 years longer than your mother. Obviously now, is showing the opposite effect. So kat mana back then, did we go wrong? Nampak lah yang dekat dulu ni, dia akan promote dentists, nurses, doctors in advertisements to see say that smoking is good. Tapi, those advertisements were actually not made by actual doctors, nurses or dentists. Sebab doktor-doktor yang dulu ni sebenarnya takut nak bagi pendapat mengenai smoking ni sebab their license could be stripped off. Orang-orang yang media ni, they took advantage of that and used fake doctors, fake nurses semua to promote propaganda to say that smoking is good. Tapi after 40-50 years, after a lot of research has been done, nampak yang smoking ni is causing a lot of chronic lung diseases such as COPD and is always known to be a carcinogen so it causes lung cancer and it also poses threat to your cardiovascular health. And only after 5 decades, they got to know the results and that is only after the other extensive people diving into the harms of smoking. So, merokok ni is already a known fact dan dah terbukti lah it causes a lot of bad things to your body. Tapi when it comes to vape, electronic cigarettes, there's not really a lot of research done to say that does it actually cause harm to your body. Vaping ni is still a new industry, is something that has only been born less than 10 years ago. Even then, there's been a lot of modifications made within the vaping industry itself. A lot of chemicals, a new chemicals has been added. So, untuk kita buat research into each of the chemicals inside, you know, your the, the liquid in your e-cigarettes. It's gonna take much, much longer and we would know the actual after effects until probably 40 or 50 years. Tapi, sekarang pun kita dah nampak dah effect dia towards our lungs. Contohnya macam e vali which is a e-vaping associated lung injury. Benda tu is a permanent injury lah. You dah dapat condition tu. It is hard to regress your lungs to how they initially were. And it's even worse if you dah vape, but tu you smoke juga at the same time. That will put more strain on your cardiovascular health and increases the risk factor. This is only because there's no enough research, we cannot entirely say that vaping is better than smoking. It might or might not be better than smoking only because there's not enough research done into it. Apa yang alternative yang lebih elok untuk vaping uh, at this point in time? Sekarang ni, there's an industry where they remove smoking in, as a method of inhaling nicotine on its own. Instead, they akan better something called like, um, you know, macam gula-gula tu, macam chewing gum semua, dia, so you kena you kunyah aja because what makes you addicted smoking is more of the nicotine and nicotine contrary to popular belief is not bad for your health nicotine tu hanya drives your addiction dia tak rosakkan apa-apa benda dalam you punya paru-paru pun sebenarnya. It gives you addiction. So what they're trying to do is to give that same level of addiction from smoking by just giving you a gula-gula lah. Obviously, the success rate is not as high as people want it to be because smoking is more of a habit. So macam smoking is more of a social culture bila you orang you tengok orang pergi kat mama. Even from, you know, from people orang-orang kampung all the way to businessmen, they will smoke. Not just because they like smoking, but it's it has become a symbol or more of a way to connect or network with people than to you know and kalau orang biasa orang merokok ni usually akan bersembang dengan orang-orang merokok je lah and orang yang tak merokok ni it's hard for them to macam socialize it's not just health wise punya issue now but it has become an innate problem to the point where people as brave to stop smoking, they are within a circle of people who are still smoking. Because they can't smoke anymore, therefore they lose that sort of, um, that beneficial part of smoking, which is to socialize and to connect with people. Itu ada apa orang tak nampak lah. The terms of yang chewing gum and then the gula-gula yang kita makan tu, yang ada nikotin tu, benda tu satu tak adalah murah. Obviously, cigarettes, vapes in Malaysia lah, in particular are still relatively cheaper and kat Malaysia ni, saya tak nampak pun lagi lah yang ada macam establish nicotine replacement tablets or nicotine replacement strips ada yang pakai patch tapi kalau kat UK tu memang dia orang provide uh, to patients so you pergi hospital ke you pergi klinik ke memang dia akan ada orang tanya oh do you want to stop smoking kalau ya yeah, dia akan provide lah apa boleh leaflet macam all oh, these other things that you can use to stop smoking